Hello, welcome back to Rimwell Tribal to Noble. So, things are reasonably quiet at the moment, having just dealt with a siege and a mech raid, uh, which we are still cleaning up from. Our corpse locker is full, we need to sort that out. But generally, things are pretty good. We have one quest ongoing at the moment, which is looking after these two guys. We have them for another 13 days. So, I think we should do some general housekeeping first. Now, first things first, Gizmo needs to go and pick up his Zeus hammer, which has been lying outside for the last three days. Which isn't good. We can speed up a bit. We've got some meat and some food. Our planting's going pretty well. Looks like we spent a lot of time planting Devil Strand rather than planting crops. That probably wasn't the wisest in retrospect. But it's fine. We've got enough food for now. I'm going to turn off the biofuel refinery and the smelter. And turn back on the ground penetrating scanner to see if we can find anything interesting. That also gives another research job available for anybody who's idle. That's still active. We do need to build another one down here. Although we do currently have a lot of steel. So maybe we go for something else. It's an option. It would be nice to get some jade or something, I suppose. Could maybe go for that. I will think about it. This room is no longer for prisoners. This is going to be a barracks. So let's get this bed in here. I think that's all our spare beds. Yeah, there's a good one there. Oh, let's get that one in here as well. And we've got a double. We'll save that for now. Okay, we've also got five sculptures made by Pixie. So, let's have a quick look at the art on these. That's always amusing. This carving portrays Joshua Gizmo Nelson finishing a project with an exuberant shout. His skill is visible in the work. The image tells the story of Gizmo becoming a master at melee tasks on the 1st of April, mate. That's pretty cool. So, where's Gizmo? Let's give that to him. Okay, that's a, so that's a good one. This is a good one. Work portrays Christian Wally Alberts building a large stellate with a gleam in his eye. This large stellate glows a soft blue. The subjects are in front of a philosopher. The work is shaded in hues of black and white. The image tells the story of Wally Philip finishing construction on a large stellate on the 10th of December. Well, this is Wally's room and he currently has a sculpture. Which is actually about black. I mean, we could move that into here. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. That's only a normal. Well, let's give that to blue and black. Then we have this one. That's poor. We'll sell that. This is a generic one. Sculpture represents a town. This work's infused with the idea of blood and is done in a romantic style. This piece is also about Wally, inscribing his name on a deep drill while covered in grime. Two tailors marvel at the deep drill, as tailors do. The image is bordered by a group of boxers. That's extremely random. We will give that to... Paul and Kesa. And we could do with a couple more. So I'm going to... Is this the... That's the sandstone one. I think we need about three more maybe. So everybody has one. Yeah, we've got a visitor from the Alliance of Bega. Somewhere. We'll get round to him. This is pretty good. 
think we can start working over here. Some planting getting done, but not enough for my liking. What is Geyser doing? Taking Penox. Let's speed right up. Making smoke leaf joint. Why are you making smoke leaf when there's planting to be done? I shouldn't have to tell you to prioritise that. You should be doing that automatically. What am I missing? Grow is your maximum priority. She's having a smoke leaf joint and she's passed out. Okay, maybe that's why we're getting no planting done because Geyser is always in the hospital. Donkey, can you rescue Geyser? Let's get Gizmo to go and have a chat with poor Goga when he gets here. He's staying outside by looks of things. Okay, Geyser, go and get your weapon back. And now where are you going? You're going for your dinner. Okay, you have 234 cash. You don't really have anything I want. You've got a silver club. That's extravagant. You've got pemmican, smoke leaf joints. You have your priorities straight. I'll give you that. A hyperweave jacket. Well, we can send you a poor sculpture. And let's see, let's sell you some drugs. We don't need Yayo. Let's get rid of that. And then do we have any tribal weaponry of any kind? I don't think so. I honestly think we can safely get rid of these things now. So let's get rid of the long sword. That takes most of his money. Yeah. And then... We really don't have much bad clothing either at the moment. Okay, well that's fine then. Job done. Okay, we've got um, over here, we've got a couple of biocoded weapons being stored, which we don't want because they're no use to anybody. So we're going to disallow biocoded weapons in here. That should get one of those at least moved out into here. Chain shotgun and a triple rocket. Good. Okay, so. I think we can start getting the royal or the royal bedroom ready. So let's uh, let's turn this light on for a start. I think we're going to need some wood. Yep. Actually, seems to be a bit of a shortage at the moment. I guess it's because we've just come out of a very cold spell. Yeah, there's really not much wood available. Okay, well, let's work on other things then. Cloth grape requires 50 wood we don't have. That's carpeted. There's nothing else we can do. Okay, well let's um let's extend this fine burgundy carpet up to here. And we will find slate tile there and there now i don't know if we've got enough slate to fulfill this we have just dismantled the load so maybe 
We've got a thousand, over a thousand. Maybe that's enough. That's going to keep them busy for a while. And then we can just knock this wall out, move the throne back. And uh, we've got a nice big throne room. And we're almost ready to host a royal. Hunter has shield and ranged weapon. Geyser, of course. Come here. Okay, Geyser. Drop the shield belt. Um, pick up the Molotovs. Come over here. Okay, and then go and get your weapon, wherever that is gone. Where is that? You should have a legendary assault rifle. There you go. And then let's uh, lock this door so no one goes in while it's burning. Another thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to expand something like that. And then we can knock this wall out. I think that makes sense. It encloses a small area of our planting. Not all of it. We can remove this wall once this is built. That gives us more room around here. We can potentially move our pods out then. Because we do want to maybe build another prison cell here. So I think that makes some sense. We're going to need a door though. So before they start building anything. Let's have an exit here. And. Here. And just for no good reason whatsoever, I'm going to put one there as well. I do like having multiple ins and outs from places. Okay, that's all finished burning. So if we allow that, we should finally get these corpses out the way. That's actually coming together reasonably quickly, that is. Nice. Okay, we need meat. What do we have? A couple of Ibex. Oh, it's slim pickings. Hairs, squirrels. Okay, I think we've got a couple more sculptures. A normal, a good, and a normal. And the Royal Tribute Collector is here. Okay. Let's check the art out on this. So this sculpture represents a town. Work is infused with the idea of blood and is done in a romantic style. Let's give that to... Combo. I'm going to give the normal one the representation of Taylor Pixie, Nel Pixie Nelson adding surface detail to a small sculpture. It's a sculpture about making a sculpture. We'll give that to Geyser and Donkey. We'll have to check the debuff on Geyser here because she's uh, ascetic. We don't want her to get a debuff from the room. But we would like Donkey to get a buff from the room. So we'll see about that. Okay, your muscle parasites have gone. Excellent.
that should be everybody's moods improving considerably. Apart from, you know, sword dead pups and things, which we can't really do much about right now. And Pixie getting food poisoning. And Donkey getting food poisoning. Why is everybody getting food poisoning? Okay, so before Geyser gets food poisoning, let's grab her and have a look. So, what I want to do is use the Healer Mech Serum. I assume it's going to cure the left lung. Apparently it doesn't fix prosthetics unless you remove the prosthetic. So if I remove the prosthetic, it could give her a left eye back. But she has a prosthetic, so the Helamex serum won't affect that. So it should do this. I'm just a little bit concerned that it might remove her smoke leaf tolerance or her psychite tolerance. I don't know about that. So I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to check that out first because I don't want to waste Helamex serum on something absolutely trivial like that. So we will leave her beef now. Okay, so we have a tribute collector. Komodo is currently a Baroness with 18 Royal Favour. Two more Royal Favour gets her to Countess. Let's see what changes when she gets to Countess. I think we're okay on the room impressiveness. We'd need an extra two braziers, six columns, two drapes and a piano. Okay, insect jelly, ambrosia, chocolate, no fine meals. You only eat lavish meals, no dumb labor, no skilled labor, Animals, plant work, or mining. Well, let's compare that to. Um, where are we? Where's Baroness? Baroness here. Done. Yeah, I mean, it's actually not a change on the food. She's still, if she, even now, she only really eats lavish meals. Dumb labour, skilled labour, plant work, mining. So it just adds animals to the list. She doesn't do any animals anyway. So it shouldn't really affect her. Now, if I give her the royal favour now, we are going to get a debuff from unsuitable throne room until we build two more columns, a piano, two more braziers. In order to do that, we need this finished. We're not very far off it though, so I think I'm okay with it. So let's go and trade with Cordiana. How much gold do you want for two royal favour? 140. Done and done. Komodo is now a countess. And we have an undignified bone room. Title rewards. We have a Nora former. You can go and use that straight away. Oh, I'm already maximum level. Well. That's because we had a spare Noraformer. So we've used one more Noraformer than we've received royal titles, that's why. So we're only maxed out. That's interesting, I didn't realise we were actually that close to the top there. Cool. Well, in that case, Gizmo, you are...
I thought you had a title. Oh, we, we haven't got the title yet because we need to complete this mission. Okay, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's hold this. I mean, we could use it straight away. We don't really need to wait. Maybe it would be a good idea to give that to someone else. I'm not sure. Gizmo will get one with his title. Now about the only thing you can really do with one Nora former is stun. You usually get stun or if you're really unlucky you get um, the link thing. There's also the one that slows people down if you're being chased. That can be useful. Oh, colonist needs rescue. Pixie. I guess you've just had a smoke leaf joint. Yep. Okay. Modo. Rescue Pixie. We have a grizzly bear in the garden. Okay, combo. Guys, uh, guys, are you do you have your weapon? You do. Combo. Gizmo. You're not going to be any use. Wally. Yeah, Wally, guys, are in combo. Come with me. Need to take care of that bear before it eats any of our um, animals. Uh. Oh, this needs rescue donkey. Okay, they're dropping like flies. Okay, her psychite tolerance is um, not bad. It should go away pretty soon. It might be that this isn't a problem and the Helamex serum won't fix this. I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to risk wasting a Helamex serum though, so I'm not going to do it until that's gone or until I've had a chance to look it up at least. Until that's range weapon, that's Donkey being back up. He needs to go and get his excellent rifle. And Pixie, you need to go and get your masterwork rifle. We have a lot of um, animals. <laughs> We've got a few foals and things that are new additions that we really need to probably get rid of. Hunter has shield and ranged weapon because of course. Pixie, come here. Drop the shield belt. Okay, we're nearly done with our base extension here. The next thing I'm going to work on after we've done this and the throne room is um, I'm going to block us in. I'm going to block us in on this corner. We're going to run a wall, something like, let's see. Whoa, we have an infestation there. Okay, well, let me finish my thought first. 
So we're going to do something like this. And maybe up to about here. And then if we want to, we can run a trap alley here. And then our defense will be here. Uh, speaking of defense, this is not ideal. Now we do generally get a reasonable amount of time to move here, so... Let's see. Hmm. Well, I think we just take them on in the garden. There is another option. We could try and bait them through this door and down to our kill box by holding the door open. Wait for them to spot us, run out the door, run down here. We'd probably get attacked. So maybe we just take them out. So has everybody got their weapons? Let's just check. Because quite a few people have dropped in this episode. Just want to make sure. See all donkey black. Yep, you're all armed. Okay, everybody up and come here. Animals all go to the danger zone. Okay, combo, we want you there. Gizmo. Let's see. Let's just get you guys over here. Or we want you there. Guys up. Pixie. Donkey. Komodo. We might need to skip. Let's move Geyser down here and then we can get Komodo here. So she's got a little extra vision. Black, we want you over here. Blue. Here. Here. Wally here. Okay, let's see what we can do. We want to make sure they do not get to our main guys, our gunners. There's quite a lot of them. Now, if we can skip the big guys back. Let's skip you all the way back there. And then do the same with you. Well, that went reasonably well. We will hunt these things. I keep forgetting how strong our weaponry is because they're all like at least excellent for the most, I think. I think they're all at least excellent. And we've got legendaries and masterworks. It really does make a difference. We are pretty strong. At least in ideal circumstances, we're pretty strong. I will immediately touch wood because I'm just asking for a world of pain there, I know. Okay, so this, this is done. We can deconstruct all of that. We may need to rethink our defences here. Maybe at least have a... Um, some sort of... barricade of some sort. We'll get that deconstructed and think about that. We do need to get this done ASAP though. And we need a piano. So, where do we make that? This is where we made the harpsichord, so yeah, a piano. I don't think it matters who makes it. Yeah, 
Marcus Marie, what are you doing? You're hauling rice. Why would that be? I'm guessing we probably don't have enough wood for a piano. 220 wood, 120 steel. Well, we've got the 120 steel. We do not have 220 wood. Hmm. I mean, there's, there's almost nothing around, look. Oh, there's a spit up there. That might be enough. We're having to go far afield, though. We should have a build set up to do kibble with insects. Meat. Let's just check. Or food. Meat. Insect meat. That's our primary one. So that should get used upon kibble. We have found gold. Somewhere in the middle of the screen. There, I guess. Let's mark it. I mean, I guess that kind of looks like a G, doesn't it? Maybe that looks a little more like a G. Okay, pretty good. Hopefully we have enough slate for all of this. Let's just check. We still have 590 blocks. We're over oh, about halfway done, maybe. I think we've probably got enough. We are, of course, also going to have to fix a bit down the middle as well. But, I mean, there's not really a rush on here. Until we've built the piano, it's undignified. You know, we can build the columns, we can build the floor. If the piano's there, not there, it's still undignified, so... It's not hitting a mood that badly. Hungry... Undignified. We're getting a minus eight, which isn't great, don't get me wrong, but... She's getting a plus eight buff from receiving the Countess title, so... She is not complaining currently. Quest available. Hospitality for an ally. Loton Partridge, chief of Alliance of Bigger, is requesting a favour. His friend, her friend, Kanto Coyote Avanda, is interested in learning about other cultures. And she wants you to host him at Black Lagoon for eight days. Coyote will not do any work. Look after someone for eight days. No threat. For goodwill. Or hyperweave or plasteel. Well it's a very easy quest. Alliance of bigger. We're neutral with them. I mean sure. He won't do anything, he's gonna eat our food. We don't... 39 Hyperweave is absolutely useless. A Plastil wouldn't hurt. Goodwill. Well... They're a fierce tribe. It will drop over time, I think. So... It'll fall by 12 a year. So it gives us a top-up. Keeps us around the middle. I'll do it for the Goodwill. Okay, we've researched Uranium Slug Turret. It's exciting. Just got to figure out where to put it now. OK, 
Okay. We really need to start getting some tech prints, I think. If we want to be able to build anything else that's useful. We could go watermill. Uh, someone in the comments, uh, I think it was a big D. I feel dirty saying that name. Um, suggested that we could maybe put a watermill in the sea. That would be awesome. As far as I know, you can't do that. It has to be in running water. Um, like a river or something. Watermills are kind of OP. They're really good. They're not affected by uh, the sun. They're not affected by uh, wind. And they just churn out power for not much resources, really. Kind of like a geothermal. But I don't think we can use them here, so there's probably not a lot of point working on that. Okay. Moisture pump. I don't know what to do. Multi-barrel weapons, I suppose. Smoke pot melts? I never make smoke pot melts. Sure, let's get smoke pot belts. We'll try those out. Okay, we are at time. So, um, things are coming together. We've got this expanded. This will, should hopefully, in the next episode, be up and running. This will be opened up, and we'll have to rethink how we're defending here. We'll build this wall, and then we are fully enclosed for the first time. We maybe have done this a long time ago, thinking about it, but... We are going to have to sort out some sort of entrance here, because people do approach from this direction. And if we block them out, they will not be able to get in. Raids will just beat the wall down, because they won't have any other option. So we'll have a little trap alley and a door, so that friendlies can get in, if should they come from that direction. So yeah, we'll leave that till next time. If you enjoyed that guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Cheers.